Hello everybody, um, the next trick I'm going to teach you um, is named uh, Four Way Coincidence by Jeff Menzer and I've actually learned it um, from Geoff Williams on his DVD Miracles for Models, it is um, on volume 1. Okay, I will show you how the trick looks like. You can give the deck to the spectator to shuffle it and he really, really is able to shuffle the deck thoroughly. Okay. And then you take back the deck and spread it and you say, okay, let's do let's have a look um how you shuffle the deck. Okay, it looks pretty good. And the point is um you shuffle the deck and I will take out one prediction card out of it which will make sense afterwards I'm not sure this one or no, maybe that one or that one okay I have to decide mm, I think I will go with that one okay since I have committed to one prediction card um, let's divide the deck into two piles and the size of the piles you can decide as I lead down the cards just say stop any any time okay say stop okay now we have approximately equally big piles and just choose one packet with uh, which you want to work with let's say he chooses that one okay now I want to deal cards down but how many cards let's see let's take this top card and say okay it has four let's deal down four cards one two three four okay let's have a look what my prediction says oh it's also a four and we have three fours and when we have three fours the last four can't be far away that's four way coincidence by Jeff Menzer um yeah um don't underestimate and underestimate this trick because um, from my experience lay people love this trick because uh, it looks so hands off and you don't do any suspicious moves you know and you can really start off by a thoroughly shuffle deck and now coming to the explanation um, let's spectate the shuffle deck and when you spread the deck face up just look for a pair okay um, when I like through, I see one pair of nine here, one pair of five here, and one pair of twos. So it happens very um, regularly that you have um, pairs right beneath each other. So let's say we go with the fives, um, then you um, count off four cards from the um, rightmost five. So we have here two fives. Then I count off by eye five cards, uh, four cards um, from that one. So I have here this pair. One, two, three, four. Okay. And you can, you can also say um, you count off five cards from the leftmost cards. Not four, then five. Okay, then you count one, two, three, four, five cards. Okay. So when you close the spread, just um, fix the position of this card you counted off just by pressing down with your thumb and divide the packet and um, um, uh, put the packets together so that these packets you counted off is on the face of the deck. So the situation is when you count one, two, three, four, five, then you reach the first five card, and under underneath is the second five card. Okay. Now you say to the spectator, you have shuffled the deck, and I will going to pick one prediction card out of the deck. And then you're looking for the third five. Okay, there it is. You up jog it, 
and um, another thing you have to do is um, to position the fourth uh, the fourth ca card of the pair to the bottom of them, to the top of the deck okay so uh, the way how I do it is um, I object one indifferent card and then the last five uh, five card by saying um, okay I'm not sure which prediction card I have to choose so I draw them out of the deck and put the um, uppermost five fifth card so that one on the table as my prediction and put these two cards back on the deck on, um, on the bottom of the face up deck okay so now the situation is you have one five here, two five you have here, and one five you have on the bottom of the face of the deck. Okay, now you just start to deal down cards singly from the face up deck, and after uh, you have passed. The, the mates you're predicting, this card is actually face down. You say to the spectator, okay, let's divide the deck into two piles, and as I deal down the cards, just say stop. Okay, he says stop. Alright, then turn both packets face down and let them choose one packet to work with. Um, okay. It doesn't matter which packet they choose. You um, you select always the right packet to to deal down the cards. Okay. Let's say he says this packet. Then you turn over the uppermost card and says, okay, it says five. Let's deal down five cards from the other packet. One, two, three, four, five. Just turn it up. Turn it over. And Take the next card, showing to directing to the prediction card as you lay down the packet to this formation, and yeah, just use this card to flip the prediction card over to show that you have predicted right the five cards, and you say as a kick, last kicker when we have three fives, the f last five can't be far away, and lay that down and it looks beautiful that way. Okay, that's four-way coincidence by Jeff Mansa. I hope you like it.